We have to tell him. Are you sure? It's time. Your mother is not who you think she is. She can't cook Mexican food. What are you talking about? Her Mexican food is amazing. No. Our Mexican food is amazing. When your mother was 12 years old, our mom, your grandma, got hooked on penny slots. She would disappear for days at a time. Andrea took care of us. More food's ready, guys. I didn't have a lot to work with, but I hope it's OK. She was so proud of feeding us that we couldn't bear to break her heart. From that moment on, we made a pact to never tell her the truth. There's more where that came from. None of this stuff is the right color. Just shut up and eat it. And eat it he did. We all did. It wasn't her fault. She never had the right ingredients, so she improvised. We were so good at lying, she came to believe her way of doing it was somehow better. All these years, she thought she reinvented Mexican cuisine. But really? She was giving us free colonics. You guys are messing with me. How bad could it be? How bad could it be? Have you seen the movie San Andreas? It's like that, but the earthquake is in your butt. Whenever she cooks Mexican food, we sneak around her back and fix everything. This is a rite of passage for every Gonzalez man, primo. Lying to your mother to protect her heart and our guts. No, no way. Mm -hmm. Leave me out of this. You're already in, primo. So you either help us or you eat your mom's food and waste away like a conquistador getting Montezuma's revenge. Have you seen The Exorcist? It's like that, but the devil's in your butt. Primo, if we don't stop your mom from cooking, the entire San Antonio Metro sewer system is doomed. Have you seen the first 10 minutes of Saving Private Ryan? It's like that, but your butt. That's, That's it, right? I got it, right? That's pretty exactly good. Exactly like that, yes. Yeah.